Okay, I've got a great question today from Daniel in Florida. He said, hi Don, I just started watching your videos from YouTube and it's been an answer to my prayers. Well, thank you, Daniel. I sometimes play the main piano and keys at church. I feel that the whole band is getting super loud and everyone does what they want, but not what they're supposed to. I watched a video where you were playing with the band and you were giving examples about when people play how they are supposed to and when they just start showing off. Uh, you, you're, you're talking about the, the video we did where I, where I, where I actually had the band overplay uh, on on a song called "Thank You, Lord." Uh, and when you have great musicians, uh, you, you know you can play a lot of notes, but that's not always the answer. Uh, again, uh, my my band is trying to gear their playing to kind of middle of the road Don Moen. So in, in my estimation for who I am, less is more. That's just who I am. And the band is professional enough to, to know that when they're playing with Don, this is the way you, you support him. Uh, but for any, any situation, if your band is getting too loud and overplaying, uh, you, you probably need to watch that video and, and, uh, <laughs> and let everybody watch it together and just kind of say, are we overplaying? Are we playing too loud? Uh, you, you just never want to lose uh, uh, focus on what this is all about. This is not about you guys. It's not about the band. It's not about how cool you can play or how, how great it sounds. You can look at the person sitting in the back row of your church. Uh, are you connecting with them? I think that'll kind of put things into perspective. If it's becoming too much of a situation where uh, the, your congregation is just watching the band they're just like oh my gosh look oh if they're just if, the, if it's that you probably miss the whole point of the worship time the, the, the time you have is to be used to create a moment that allows people to connect with a living God it's not about the music yeah I want to I want to play great music I want it to sound good but so let's just uh, remind ourselves again not to overplay don't make it about yourself. Uh, what should I do since I'm not the main leader? Uh, well, number one, you need to serve. That, you know, a lot of times we're in a, in, a, in a group, we're not the main leader, and it's hard because you have an idea how things should be done. The leader may not be doing everything right, but there is a healthy, uh, healthy character building thing that, that, you, that comes with learning to serve. Uh, so serve your main leader. Uh, you're saying the main leader plays the main piano when I play the keyboard, and that person just does too much when they're playing the piano. Um, I don't know what to tell you there. It just sounds like there's just some overplaying going on. Uh, you are not the main leader, and you're in a supportive auxiliary keyboard role. I would just encourage you to uh, just, play, just play pads. Just and you kind of balance out if your keyboard, the main keyboard player is getting really busy. Just balance it out. Play some uh, diamonds, some big uh, whole notes, and uh, try to balance out the sound. And I would encourage you to go to YouTube and watch that video on overplaying. We had fun with it. We laugh about it. It's a bit controversial on our website because some, some people think it's the coolest thing in the world. But I, I think there's a danger whenever you get musicians together uh, they they tend to want to overplay, and I just wouldn't lose focus on the fact of what you're there to do. Uh, you're there to to connect people with the presence of the Lord. That's the only thing that's going to change their lives. Uh, keep that in focus, and um, and and I think always a good thing to remember as a player: less is more. And I'm saying that knowing some amazing. Uh, world-class musicians, they know when to play down and they know when to dial it up. So uh, just in the situation you're in, I would say uh, thanks for watching the YouTube videos. Uh, avail yourself to all those videos. Lots of good information on there as you develop your team. But I want to encourage you, uh, as you continue to serve, uh, uh, just give the Lord an opportunity to work uh, through you guys, touching your congregation, and bringing you together as a group as a worship team, as you mature together. So uh, Daniel, thanks for your question. 
Uh, and if you've got a question you want to ask me, go to donmoen.com forward slash ask Don. I've got a lot of questions, but I'll try to get to yours, and I'll give it my best shot. God bless. Make it a great day.